Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can easily make yourself a DIY potting bench for potentially free out of pallets. You might end up having to buy some screws or maybe some extra wood for the top, but it's at least going to be extremely inexpensive and budget friendly. So the first thing I did is I trekked over to my little wood stash and I grabbed a few pallets. You're going to end up needing three or four pallets for this project. Then you're going to want to break the pallet down to the height that you need it. I kind of went with hip height and then I also just picked an easy spot in between the boards to trim the pallet down at. Then just flip it over. I measured just to make sure that everything was the same height. And then I trimmed the other side to get that chunk off. You can see here that I am using the uh, good old hip measuring. This potting bench is for me, so it makes sense that I'm just making a custom fit for myself and you should do the same. So you're gonna make two identical of these pieces and these will be your side pieces. Then I went ahead and trimmed them down. This will determine the thickness of your potting bench so you can kind of tailor that to the spot that you have for it. I also chose an easy spot to um, trim them down where I had a two by four, one of the support pieces of the pallet. Of course, we need to stop and check on the locals during our project. So this is the back piece. Um, this will be the kind of the top back piece of our pallet potting bench. I cut it down the same way I cut the other one, so I didn't record that, but um, you can tailor the height of this. This will determine the overall height of your potting bench, so you can customize that to your needs. Then I grabbed a piece of pallet wood and you're going to be screwing this to the back of your side pieces, screwing it right in to the supports inside the pallet. So grab some helpers that are way cooler than you are and have them hold your side pieces. As you can see, I attach the boards to both of the my side pieces on the back and then you just slip your top piece right over those boards. Fiddle faddle with it a little bit, make sure that it's straight and then go in from the back and screw that right in through the back of the top pallet. You should end up with something that looks like this at that point. I went ahead and trimmed these little extra hangover pieces off just so that it would give me a clean surface to work with. Then I grabbed another piece of pallet wood and I screwed it in flush with the top of my side pieces to hold them out straight. Next I wanted to add a shelf inside of my potting bench and so I found a level line and I screwed some little trim down pieces of pallet into the sides. I'm not sure why my face looks like I'm biting a lemon here but it does so we are going to work with it. Then I grabbed my fourth chunk of pallet and trimmed it down to the size I needed to fit inside of my potting bench. You might have to, you know, use some natural methods to get this little shelf in place, but we made it work. Then I kind of capped off the raw edge with another chunk of pallet. I actually went through and eventually covered all the raw edges with little pieces of pallets like you can see here. Then I just filled the screw holes up with putty and painted the whole thing with a fairly thin coat of white paint. I kind of wanted to preserve its rustic look. I didn't want it to make it look too finished. 
Then for the top, I wanted to make a piece that would slip around the back palette piece. So I just measured out where my edges were and how thick they needed to be. Then I connected those lines and cut out the rectangular piece to make way for the back palette portion. Then that leaves a spot so this board can just slip right around that and it looks a lot more finished. So I had been given a bunch of reclaimed old shiplap, so I'm here just fitting my pieces together. I think it would be easy to use some pallet wood or if that wasn't big enough for your potting bench, you could grab some inexpensive cedar fence pickets and those would work well here. Not all of my pieces worked. So once you get all your pieces on the top, I just went ahead and screwed mine down into my side pieces from the top. Then I just trimmed them down to where I'd have about a two inch overhang and cut that out. I always like to cut my pieces out all together so it makes a nice smooth edge. I wanted to get a little bit fancy here so I did some rounded corners using a good old paint can. And once you get your edge all cut out, go ahead and just give it a quick sand just to smooth out any splintering and make it look a little nicer. Finally, for the last piece, you're going to have to test out the structural integrity of your potting bench, see how you've done. We're going to cap off this back pallet piece with another piece of wood to make a little shelf. Then you can go ahead and seal that with whatever you want. Make sure it's exterior grade. I used an exterior grade polyurethane. And then you are done and you can start potting.